Mercury is the only metal that's a liquid at room temperature, and something that I've always wanted to do was to try making it solid. To do this, I just have to add some liquid nitrogen to a dish and wait for it all to cool down. Now, it looks like it's good to go, and I can pour in some of the mercury. This is a few minutes later, and it's definitely solid. I really have no idea what to do with it though, and I think it might be cool to just melt it again. This is bromine. It's chemically very similar to chlorine, except chlorine's a gas and bromine's a liquid. It also lets off a lot of nasty orange vapor, and this is why I sealed it in glass. Bromine's really dense, and it's more than three times as dense as water, and this makes its vapor really heavy. Bromine's notoriously difficult to store, and if I just put it all back into a bottle or something, it would damage everything around it. So I have to seal it again in a glass ampule that I made from a test tube. So today, I'm gonna be making some fireballs. To do this, I have to start with some white powder called calcium acetate. Now I have to add some water and dissolve it. This should normally make a colorless solution, but this is all brown because I made the calcium acetate myself and it's not very pure. Not all of it dissolves, but that's fine. And now I have to pour it into isopropyl alcohol, which turns it into a gel. Now I can squeeze out some of the extra alcohol and make some flammable jelly balls. So for no reason, I've decided to make some piranha solution, which is probably one of the angriest liquids that you can make in the lab. To do this, I just have to start with some concentrated sulfuric acid and then carefully add 30% hydrogen peroxide. It's important that I do this very carefully and to never add too much peroxide because it can actually become explosive. It also gets really hot and this mixture is able to destroy most organic things. I always find it fun to add stuff like paper to it because it just instantly turns it into carbon and then it vaporizes it into CO2 gas. In the past, I've also done it with things like a fortune cookie, and it was able to completely destroy it in seconds. I also did it on a much larger scale, and I was able to dissolve an entire hot dog, which was kind of terrifying. So today, I'm going to be destroying this poor penny for no reason. To do this, I just need to add some nitric acid to a beaker. Now, if I put a penny in, it immediately starts eating it. It also kind of cleans it and makes it shiny again. As it eats it, it starts pouring off nitrogen dioxide gas, which is something that you really don't want to breathe in. It took about 10 minutes, but the penny's completely gone now. The color's also green because of the copper nitrate that formed. If I pour more water into it though, it instead makes a really nice blue color. <laughs> 